with uh, Anne Baroque, author of A Healing Multiple Sclerosis and The Candida Cure. They, they kind of tie together. Can you talk a little bit about what candida is? Sure. It's a yeast, and so people go, oh, that's a female thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, that's everybody's thing. It's a single-celled ubiquitous organism, and it lives in the body everywhere, inside, outside. And it stays balanced until we disrupt the you know, communication in the body or We'll talk about the gut more in a minute. But basically, it stays balanced until you have things such as antibiotics, steroids, birth control, hormone replacement therapy, uh, stress, sugar, alcohol. All of these are disruptors because this yeast naturally stays balanced, but you only need to have one dose of antibiotics to change the ratio. So you could have been seven, you have strep mm -hmm. throat, you take an antibiotic, which kills good and bad bacteria. So without the good bacteria, the yeast start to multiply. And people are going, oh, God, I haven't had antibiotics in 20 years. How mm -hmm. could this be me? I said, what do you love to eat? How are your stress levels? Because anything that elevates sugar in the body will start to feed this yeast over a lifetime. So whether you're male, whether you're a child, whether you're female, this starts to multiply. And over time, this single-celled yeast can turn into a mycelial fungal form. Loves to burrow out of the intestinal tract, and then the toxins, the 79 waste products that come off yeast, mm -hmm. are really the disruptors of the body. And depending on your genetics, um, side induced traumas, this infection and inflammation starts to take over the body because it'll attack what's most vulnerable. And that's yeast, so it continues to proliferate as, depending on the lifestyle habits, and unless you address it, it continues to multiply. You mentioned it affects men and women. We mm -hmm think of yeast problems more with women, but does it affect certain people more than others? Because we've all had antibiotics, we've mm -hmm. all had stress. I mean, the, the conditions you mentioned, we've all dealt with that. Is there, are certain people more prone to problems? I think, you know, women just based on some of the anatomy itself gives, you know, it's more hospitable. But the reality is men are just as uh, vulnerable to it. Prostate issues, toenail fungus, sinus infections. If you really ask me, the minor conditions that everybody's dealing with today is actually related to yeast overgrowth because you're really talking about basic things such as gas and bloating, reflux, uh, fatigue, which is, you know, everybody's dealing with anxiety, depression, all these minor things that we kind of just put up with are actually interrelated because in the United States, I would say to you, it's not just you know, I've been in practice 13 years. So about seven years ago, I would say one out of three people had candida overgrowth. Today, I think everybody does. It's just, is it mild, is it moderate, or is it severe? And so when you step into autoimmune diseases and cancer, it's definitely severe. So I really think it's something that it's not, um, I don't take it lightly when I say it's an epidemic. It's just very easily eradicated. We're just still very ignorant to it because Western medicine only gives it credence if a woman has a vaginal yeast infection, thrush where the tongue's coated, or someone has HIV or AIDS. Is it getting worse? You, you talk about it being an epidemic. Is it getting worse, and, and why is it? I mean, our diet certainly isn't getting better, mm -hmm. I don't think, as a society. Is right. that a, a big part of it? Well, I think it's a combination. The diet is critical. I mean, basically, it's all processed food. The quality has been denatured. It's genetically modified. Uh, we don't have the same quality we did 50 years ago. And then you've got more environmental toxicity, so we have more of a heavy metal load that wipes out the good bacteria. And I think we have higher stress levels than we've ever had because of our own personal dynamics, world dynamics, and this will elevate hormones in the body, which elevate sugar. So we're getting it from every facet, and that's why this is becoming more of an epidemic.